friends, fellowship, and fabulous music, the South Bend Mishawaka Valley Airs work in harmony with singers of all abilities in a local barbershop chorus. Don and Scott are here this morning to talk about the chorus. Thank you both for being here. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Morning. Good morning. And this <clears throat> is, okay, as far as barbershop quartets, um, well, actually, I had a joke. Jackie, our local comedy writer here, gave me a little joke about barbershops not just being where you get your hair cut. But anyway, that really, that felt, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. That was so. That was good. <laughs> that's what they Similar call. Similar to the jokes we have on our show. Right. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. There are jokes, they're singing. Tell me a little bit about barbershop and what that means. Wow. Take that one. <laughs> well, the barbershop quartet, you know, is uh, evolved about a hundred years ago or so out of the tradition of uh, street singing, actually, uh, mostly in the African-American community, then it made its way to the rest of the population. And as a, uh, in the days before radio, the hobbies were to sing. Mm -hmm. And it just turned out that, that those pianos that had, those houses that had pianos had that to help, but the houses that didn't would do it a cappella. And this has sort of evolved over uh, as, mu as music does, evolved over the last century into what we call barbershop now. It's unaccompanied. The melody is in the interior of the chord. Generally, there's the bass sings the lowest notes, the important notes. The melody is somewhere in the middle. And then there's a tenor above singing the easy harmony. And then there's a baritone that sort of zigs and zags with the lead to fill in the missing <laughs> note. Right, exactly. As a singer myself, I do think about that a little bit. I'm a soprano, so I usually get the easy or the tenor part. You get the melody. I yeah. do usually get yeah. the melody or the high yeah. desk can, and then that's easy. Anyway, but <laughs> um, so it's wonderful to think about. The, a lot of people think about the barbershop quartet, but this is a barbershop chorus. How many members do you have in the chapter? We currently have about uh, uh, 27 chapter or uh, members in the chapter itself. Okay. Yeah. And there are several quartets within the chapter as well. I was going to ask, so yeah. there are performances with the quartets, but then also with the larger group as well? That's correct, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we actually have a very wonderful special surprise here on the show, and that is a little sneak peek of some of the work that you do with the Valliers. So why don't we go and check that out. Let's check out a little performance that they have for us, and then we will come back and talk a little bit more about it. Oh, give me a home where the You guys a round of applause for that that was wonderful a round of applause perfect perfect but home on the range is such a classic favorite what kind of other songs do you sing with the valiers a wide range i mean uh, <laughs> That's arrangements, love to hear. arrangements start from the first turn of the century of 1900s <laughs> Uh, up to uh, present day music. Um, well, we don't do a lot of present day music, if we're being honest. <laughs> but <laughs> some, depend, you know, some arrangers will, will, there, will pick some. There will be, uh, yeah, well, what our particular chorus our particular does. Uh, we do uh, some great American songbook uh, music, which is my favorite. I think that's the best music ever written. Mm. And we'll do uh, some things from the 50s and 60s, a little doo wop occasionally, maybe a, something like a Beatles song. Um, occasionally, we do musical theater things. Oh. Um, a, a variety of things. Yeah, swing music's very popular. And, and swing. Yeah. Oh, sure. And, um, and ballads, as you just heard, and uh, the occasional rip-roaring uptune, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> a rip-roaring uptune. <laughs> I think that's what everybody needs to hear right now, <laughs> right? Well, Scott, let's talk about some of your work and your work as a director, traveling around. What is that like for you being a part of this community? <laughs> well, I've, I've, I started this a, a long time ago when I was in high school. And uh, through the years, I've dabbled in arranging songs for choruses and quartets. 
Uh, I've been in competitive quartets that have gone to the world competition uh, on nine occasions. I've raised a couple of sons who have uh, eventually, with their quartet, won the world championship. Wow. Um, and I had, uh, as part of that, I had arranged for them and I had coached them. And, uh, and as a result of their success, I have eventually have uh, parlayed that into coaching groups all around the world in my spare time. Um, <laughs> I'm sure there's not a lot of spare time. <laughs> there oh is my not. <laughs> goodness, you're incredibly busy. But something really exciting that we have coming up is your concert coming up in June. Tell us about that. June the 3rd. Show. Yeah, June 3rd, uh, Clay High School, uh, 7 o'clock. Uh, tickets are available. You should be able to see that on the on the on the, the screen here. I think. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's the it's the big show that we have every year. Um, and um, the the song that you heard is is one of the songs. But we have uh, uh, ten or so songs uh, from the chorus. Uh, we have horrible jokes. Oh, <laughs> by um, horrible well, he means vaudevillian. <laughs> vaudevillian. <yeah. laughs> Not as horrible as me starting this segment with um, that. That was uh, yeah, bad. and <laughs> and some of the local quartets. Uh, I'm right. in, I'm in one of the quartets, and then we have a guest quartet. Uh, it's uh, they're called GQ. Mm. Uh, they're the first female. Uh, several years ago, the Barbershops Harmony Society uh, incorporated all people. It's uh, everyone in harmony. So uh, women sing now as well in in the society. And so we have the first female quartet to uh, to place in the in, top five in, in the top five in international competition. Oh, that's incredible! Um, so we're very excited about that. They are spectacular. Right, and, and we want to make sure that we can get you all of that information for seeing this show, for seeing all everything that they have to offer with the Valliers. It is called a recipe for love, a barbershop show taking place Friday, June third at seven p.m. You can visit them at valliers.org or check out their Facebook.